Other interesting political news, you have Tim Walls fumbling to try to load a shotgun, as may question people, does he have any mental intellect or even own a gun, as he previously claimed he is a gun owner. Which, uh, yeah, well, I should clarify, Tim Walls is very much pro-gun, but it's the government to only have guns, not you and I. Remember during the vice presidential debate when they asked him, well, hey, you've spoken about gun confiscation before, what would you do? And his response was, oh yeah, I'm a gun owner. And of course, the moderator did not push him or actually have him clarify, well, Kamal Harris has said, you know, if she doesn't get her way in the first 100 days of being president, she would, you know, ban guns and go for confiscation. What would, you know, they didn't, you know. Of course, moderators did nothing. Of course. That was just obviously comical. Now this has come to us thanks to Jack Poso on X. And he says, quote, Oh my God, Tim Wallace does not even know how to load his, load his own gun. He lied about being a hunter too. Which, yeah, when it comes to this type of hunting, you typically, yeah, debatably, most people are going to use a pump shotgun or over under. In terms of, like duck hunting, I mean, yeah, a lot, a lot of people use the same yeah, one. There you can see Tim Walls dressed up like, it looks like Elmer Fudd in this picture. Yeah, that's my theory. And it never fits quite right. It never fits quite right. <laughs> Just not quite right. How do you get it back? <laughs> how do you get it back? You don't know how, you have a malfunction on it. Supposedly you're, first of all, floating shotgun is one of the simplest things to do. There's only a couple ways you can mess it up. And don't get me wrong, malfunctions do happen from time to time. Usually not on a kind of gun that he's using. Usually on his, uh, well, it's the, you know, the Remington 870 Express past couple years, thanks to that company being bought and sold more than anything, quality has declined more than a Boeing airplane. And they found a way to make a semi-automatic, or sorry, a pump uh, shotgun jam, which is a testament to poor manufacturing at Remington. I may or may not be bitter about purchase I made in my lifetime. But go back to Tim Walls attempting to load this and apparently not knowing how to clear a jam. No, it's not quite right. <laughs> Just not quite right. How do you give it back? <laughs> Governor, what kind of gun is it? This is a Beretta A400. I brought, I bought it when I was shooting a lot of uh, trap because it has a kind of their patented thing, a kickoff. So when you get old, it, it doesn't hurt your shoulder as much. That's yeah, my, that's my theory, and it never fits quite right. <laughs> never fits. So you can't uh, hit. You found a way to. Mi he found a way for. To, he found a way. It's almost unfathomable. Or un he found a way to make a Beretta unreliable, <laughs> which again those. Those are traditionally pretty nice shotguns. They cost a pretty penny, don't get me wrong. And pretty sure the one I, yeah, the one I use at the rental, when I go, I, yeah, because it's better than mine, so I'll, I'll usually rent a 12 gauge if I'm a customer event. And yeah, those, I think I've jammed maybe once the past four years when we're using that. And those are rentals, so you know they get the abuse the hell out of them. They got a high round count. And he found a way to jam it, and he doesn't even know how to load it, which is so comically inept. So I guess, again, we should not be surprised. Now, going to the comment section, what pretty about I got 7.6 million views, as well as 62, again, 62,000 likes. One of the first ones comes from, comments comes from Wakey Wakey saying, that's all, folks. And it's a picture of Elmer Fudd, the cartoon character, looking oddly reminiscent of Tim Walls. Though I would argue Elmer Fudd had more integrity and more intelligence. I beloved cartoon character, which again, they destroyed by taking away his gun was a couple years ago. Bastards at Warner Brothers. Try to rewrite history again. Now that juxtaposition of those two pictures got 3.4 thousand likes, which, yeah, that outfit was not the best choice, Tim. Granted, he's made bigger mistakes in his life. Don't get me started. Let's see. I'm a little biased, so I'm going to read a comment that responded to him. This, this commenter is quite handsome and brilliant. He's me. That's a joke. Hey, remember, follow me on the X at hashtag the topping show. Which I said, quote, Nat Elmer Fudd was smarter. He got 14 likes. Oh, jeez. A. A. Blopez, author says, all apologies, it's a Venn diagram. It has a, jeez. So the Venn diagram, the two circles, one circle is Kurt Cobain, the other circle is Tim Walls, and the middle where the two circles meet is use a shotgun once. Which, uh, 593 likes for that. A little dark humor there. Which, uh, a lot of people debate, did uh, Kurt Cobain really pull the trigger or was his partner? But I partially digress. Going down more and more. Yeah, Planet of... What's wrong with you? Planet of Memes did not again respond in meme form. A little disappointed. This alleged Planet of Memes says, quote, What hasn't he lied about? Getting 396 likes. Going down. Oh, jeez. Internet's a hilarious, funny, beautiful thing sometimes. The Rook at Media TM responded with a laughing emoji because they did a Photoshop. There's Tim Walls holding a giant tampon. Getting 111 likes from that little video. Which, again, this is a guy who thought it was a good idea to put those in young boys' washing rooms. Going down more and more. Laura, Laura, her name is Laura, woman for Trump, says, 
The only thing he knows how to load is Tim Wallace holding a Photoshop, so he's holding a giant tampon, getting 3,000 likes. Adam Oni says, I guess I would call him a school shooter. <laughs> yeah, he says, I guess he should call his school shooter friend for tips, getting 2.1 thousand likes, which, yeah, it was another weird uh, blunder he had during the vice presidential, de presidential debate, where he said he made friends with a school shooter, which, you, the wise man once said you could judge a man by the company he keeps. It's uh, interesting Tim chose that. May says he looks like a drunk Elmer Fudd, getting 3,000 3, likes. Ray Wilson says, a military man that cannot load a shotgun, due to his fake, getting 1.5 thousand likes, which, don't forget, Donald Trump saw more combat than Tim Wallace, because Donald Trump was actually shot at. Going down more and more. Jeez. Charlotte Johnson says, tap on Tim to the rescue. And he's getting that Photoshop. It looks like he's trying to cram them into the shotgun. Got 433 likes. There's a couple of those memes. Another one got 961 likes from Mike Sacramento says, I was able to zoom in. And there's a picture of him loading a Photoshop to show him loading a tap on into a shotgun. Hunter Eagleman says, quote, beta male trying to do alpha shaking, 778 likes. See, any contrarian statements. Anyone sticking up for Tim Walls? Hunt Sully says this comes to mind. It's a picture of Dick Cheney holding a shotgun. Getting 366 likes. Which. Eh? Phoenix says, pathetic. It says, haha, you dumb mother after you. Getting 190 likes. After Dreamer says, we also saw this coming, guys. A total phony. Getting 240 likes. Which. Someone else says, remember this Photoshop POS since Obama holding a shotgun gained 41 likes. Which. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any contrarian statements. I'm not seeing anyone pick, uh... Oh, this is a good meme. So, X for your mind says, Elmer Fudd is the, you know, Vice President's VP debate where you have J.D. Vance looking at the camera like Jim Halpert from The Office going, they have Tim Walls looking like a deer in headlights. Under those pictures is J.D. Vance, so that's got, you know, Bugs Bunny holding the carrot. And the other picture is Elmer Fudd looking befuddled, getting 574 likes for that. Let's see if you can make it larger for the screen there. Which, uh, yeah, not sure this is winning. I, I can't imagine who's he trying to appeal to this, because no hunter is voting for Tim Walls. I mean, no one who owns a gun, presumably no one who owns a gun or cares about the Second Amendment is voting for someone who has to get rid of it. None of them are voting for Tim Walls. Maybe... Maybe one or two fun, one or two people aren't. It always blows my mind. There's some people in the gun community go, well, you, why do you need anything more than a shotgun? Well, first of all, I'm American. I don't need to justify, you know, my God-given rights. But also, if they've ever read a history book, they see as soon as, soon as they ban one thing, they ban everything. I mean, the slavery soap is no longer a theory. It's a, it's a fact. So, and I guess it, when this pisses off people who are far leftists who don't want anyone to hold a gun, and now he's holding a gun and, you know, hunting, which, again, there's some people who don't even like hunting because they don't realize where food comes from. But... I don't understand why Tim Walls, I mean, in terms of moving this on the political chessboard, what does this do? It doesn't make him look masculine. It doesn't, it doesn't make him look intelligent. I mean, he, he found a way to jam a shotgun and then not know how to clear it. So again, if you own a gun, you, there's a, depending on what brand you get, there's a, there's a certain percentage of odds that it will jam. It will happen. It's a rare thing, depending on what manufacturer you get, but that could happen. But you know, in that rare occasion, you know exactly how to fix it. And yet, he just, just he, he didn't know how to load it, then he didn't know how to fix a jam. So that's two strikes of ineptitudes of firearm ownership. The only thing I wasn't surprised, I guess we should probably just be surprised and pointing at someone too, just to have the trifecta of, you know, mentally vacuous things you can do with it. In terms of just flagging someone, you know, jeez, you almost, you almost can't make this up. So let me know in the comments, I, I don't know who this is trying to appeal to or how this is going to improve his, you know, his numbers in the polls. But interesting to see him fail yet again. And let me know your thoughts are in the comments because, as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.